Welcome to my Bamboo Lab Buyer's Guide for Black Friday. Today we're going to walk through Bamboo Lab's entire lineup and make recommendations based on your budget and what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for a 3D printer for Black Friday, right now is one of the best times to get one. There's so many sales, especially when it comes to Bamboo Lab. Now their sale is running till December 5th, so you have until then to make your decision. I don't think any of these prices are going to change. However, stock may change, that's the only thing, but I really don't see them running out of stock for most of these 3D printers. And I've seen them also offer like a back order where you can still get it, it just might be a little bit delayed. So I don't anticipate that they're gonna run out of any of these 3D printers being in stock or at least you being able to purchase them for the current prices. And on top of this, I do own the A1, the P1S and the H2S. I've received zero dollars and zero pennies from Bamboo Lab ever. I'm just someone who really likes their products. Again, I always say this, it's the same thing when it comes to kitchen appliances or maybe a car. Some people like Kia, believe it or not. Some people like Mazda, some people like Toyota. Maybe you're buying a kitchen appliance. Some people like, I don't know, what are, Kenmore, they like GE, maybe you like Samsung. But all of this being said, it's just personal preference. And my personal preference is Bamboo Lab. So, and I like talking about their printers and I like helping you guys make buying decisions. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So we're gonna just walk through their ladder pretty much of all the 3D printers and my thoughts. Now, if you're looking for the most basic budget friendly 3D printer, that is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. It is coming at 199 currently and 329 for the combo. I had to pull out the computer here to make sure I was getting the correct prices. I <laughs> can't do everything from the top of my head. Anyway, but this is one of the most budget friendly 3D printers you can buy. It does also offer free shipping, but the problem with this one, now there is one major drawback I think with this 3D printer. And it's not the functionality. It's not like, like there's nothing really wrong with it. It's that I think it's very easy to outgrow this 3D printer when it comes to the build play size. So if you can swing it, I would go for the step up, the A1. But when it comes to the A1 Mini, I think you're getting a fantastic printer for the price. So if you're only trying to do like FDM or filament minis, maybe some DND tiles, things like that, I think this is a perfect 3D printer. Or maybe you're making those little things for your, maybe you're an elementary teacher and you're making those little fidget toys or whatever you're 3D printing. I think this is a fantastic option. But again, I think if you're someone who's like trying to build like these big projects or maybe that's something you wanna do down the road, I think you can outgrow this 3D printer pretty quickly. However, if the only thing you're doing is smaller items, this is a perfect 3D printer for you. I would definitely recommend it. I love my A1. It's probably my favorite printer I've ever used. Now, there is some nostalgia there because it's really what got me back into 3D printing when it came out. But I think the A1 Mini is a fantastic option for the majority of people if you can fit everything you want to print on that build plate size. And what I would recommend is download Bamboo Studio, put in the A1 Mini. Now it'll get you familiar with the slicer a little bit, but once you select the 3D printer you're using, you put in the A1 Mini, see if the stuff you want to 3D print fits on that build plate. This is a really easy way to see like, hey, are you going to outgrow this 3D printer relatively quickly? Now the next 3D printer we'll talk about is the Bamboo Lab A1. I think the Bamboo Lab A1 is honestly probably the best option for the majority of people. I did make a video talking about this really just kind of glaze in the A1, but when it comes to the A1, you can get it for 279. To me, this is like the best deal for Black Friday here because a lot of the other sales aren't really huge discounts, at least to me, other than the H2D. But I would splurge for any combos if you can when it comes to these 3D printers because like just the automatic filament reloading systems and all of that, it make it a lot easier. There's nothing worse than like doing a long print, like a 24 hour print and you run out overnight and it wasn't printing for like six to eight hours or even when you're at work or if you're comfortable using it when you're away from home, things like that. I think that's really where I would say the combo makes the difference. Now you are limited to four colors if you do choose to do the AMS light you can go and like splurge and get the actual AMS box for the A1. I don't know that I would wanna spend that much, especially because this is more what I like into like the budget 3D printer. If you're only printing with PLA and PETG, fantastic option. Honestly, I would recommend buying like two of these versus like upgrading for a P2S if you're only doing PETG and PLA and you have the space for two 3D printers, right? I think that the, 
I just love the, the A1. To me, this is the best deal on for Black Friday. I think it was originally like 350, so you're saving about $70. When you think percentage-wise, that's a pretty good percentage on this 3D printer. But again, if you're only printing PLA, PET G, look up some of the toxins that come with other 3D print materials like ABS, ASA. I personally like to steer clear of those and only use PLA, PET G, and it's in my garage on top of that. So all of that being said, I do think the Bamboo Lab A1 is the best choice for the majority of people. Now, if you're looking and you're like, hey, I might actually wanna print with some of those carbon fiber, ABS, ASA, you can take the step up. And the step up is actually the Bamboo Lab P1S. Now you have to think about the Bamboo Lab P1S stock does not come with a hardened steel nozzle. So on top of the 399 that you're going to pay, you're also going to have to upgrade to a hardened steel nozzle, which is an initial, like I think it's like 33 to $35, somewhere in there, which you can add. So I actually have done this. I've also upgraded all of the extruder gear and stuff. So it's about $50, I wanna say, doing both upgrades. So at $450, printing those extra materials, or at $400, you just wanna say, I want to be safe, I want to just wait. Or maybe you have a cat or a pet that might get into your 3D printer and you want the fully enclosed, I have no problem printing with this, the door closed, the lid on, the heat doesn't do anything, I have perfect printing with PLA, not really an option. Because you could get heat creep if you have everything fully enclosed. Heat creep meaning that your filament gets a little soft before it goes into the nozzle and it causes clogs. I never have issues with that when it comes to the P1S. And frankly, I would buy the P1S over the Elegoo Centauri Carbon if you can swing it, over the Cobra S1 if you can swing it, over the GDQ2, I would still get the P1S. The P1S is a very solid 3D printer. Even though it came out three years ago, I don't think Bamboo Lab has any intention of not offering spare parts for this thing. That's one of the main things when it comes to Bamboo Lab, buying them, the spare parts, the availability, all of that. I think it's a fantastic 3D printer for the price. Uh, I mean, look, you're not gonna save too much money as terms of when it comes to the P1S, but if you want the ability, again, down the road to print ABS, ASA, carbon fiber materials, you can future-proof yourself by spending $120 more for the P1S, or just get the A1 if you're okay right now printing PLA PETG, because frankly, I think that's suitable for most people and most people don't need this. So, I mean, it, it just depends on what you want. What do you need? What, do, like, these are things to consider. Like, are you gonna take that extra money and then buy PLA and filament, right? Because you can get good deals with their Black Friday sale on filament and that money can go a long way. Or like, do you truly need these upgrades? I think for the majority of people, you don't need the upgrades, you can just go with the A1. Now, when in terms of the combo, you have the P1S combo for 549, or you can get the AMS2 combo, which actually both show back order till November 18th right now. Uh, actually, the com normal combo is November 27th. So like I said, I think they'll offer back orders so you can keep these prices. The P1S combo is totally fine. I think it's okay for the majority of people you get the AMS-1. I don't think more most people want to actually use the AMS-2, but it is a better system. For $70 at this point now having the original just AMS, I think I personally would try to swing the extra $70, but it's not necessary. Um, it goes the same thing with buying the P2S. Like if you can truly afford it, you're going all in on 3D printing, or maybe you just want something and this is gonna be your only 3D printer. The P2S, when it becomes available, if it's between that $700 to $900 range, that combo is already gonna come with the AMS2. So it, again, it just depends on what you can afford, what you're really looking for. Now, if none of these options and you're like, I want a bigger 3D printer, you're looking at the H2S, right? The H2S I personally own, I did buy it because all I wanted was a bigger Bamboo Lab 3D printer. Now, again, real quick, if you guys have any questions on what you should buy, what your budget is, I can tell you like, hey, this is what I would do. Tell me what you're printing though, because that's a big thing that people leave out when it comes to buying a 3D printer. Which 3D printer? Like, you're not, <laughs> you gotta tell me what you plan on 3D printing for me to give a recommendation, because if you plan on printing ABS ASA, I can't recommend the A1 because it's not possible. It's not safe to fully enclose that 3D printer and trap heat in. It's not built for that. You're gonna cause issue with the electronics. Like the H2S is a perfect printer. It's offering free shipping right now. There's gonna be no deal on it because it literally just came out in August, but this is like their best 3D printer, I think currently out right now. It's 340 by 320 by 340, while the other printers are right the 256 cubed. 
This, again, I would get the combo when it comes to this. You can call it a day, but this is a big budget 3D printer. And for a beginner 3D printer, I wouldn't recommend spending this amount of money. I would buy the A1, see if you like it. Do you want to print bigger? Do you need the activated chamber heating? Do you need all these fancy gizmos and gadgets? Do you, or do you just want it? You want a bigger 3D printer and you just don't want to worry about it. You want to keep your same workflow when it comes to Bamboo Studio. All of that, like that's when it comes to the H2S and that's where I would recommend buying it. It is on back order to ship December 31st. So you may not get this before Christmas, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like right now and even the laser version is not shipping till December 25th. So unfortunately, like if you're buying it for a Christmas gift, you probably can't get it. But this probably is their best 3D printer. But again, it's not for everyone because I wouldn't spend over $1,000 on your first 3D printer. And that's the same thing when it goes to the H2D. When it comes to the H2D, I would personally wait until the H2C comes out because I don't know, with the H2D going down to $1,750 for Black Friday, a lot of times when Bamboo Lab lowers their prices, they don't go up the full entire case amount when they increase them. So I'm wondering if this maybe just goes up to like 1800 or 1850 and the H2C kind of takes over like a 2200, $2300 roll but we don't know until this comes out. Now there have been some leaked images where it's starting to ship to some of the content creators or I saw one where a content creator actually got an H2C. Um, we'll see that on 3D printing news on Friday, but I yeah, I mean, I don't know that I would ever recommend the H2D for any single person buying their very first 3D printer. I think you definitely need to see like, hey, I'm in 3D printing for the long haul. But this is one you can get right now and it's shipping in stock versus the H2S. So it depends on what your budgets are. You know, everybody's budget is different. It's fully enclosed, right? It offers a lot more as far as like capabilities. I mean, not really that many more than the H2S, but yeah, I mean, I personally would buy one, but I'm waiting to see that H2C. I mean, it has kind of enticed me after I got the H2S and just how good the H2S is over all of these other printers. But I, I just can't, I can't recommend it for a beginner. So that's kind of like my thoughts on these guys. So again, I still think my favorite option for most people is the Bamboo Lab A1. You're looking at the P1S. Uh, yeah, it's a good printer, but like you need it. I think you can spend that $120 extra on some filament, uh, you know, or you can get the biggest discount you can and spend another extra $100, you know, spend $200 on filament. Or if you're looking at like the combo versions, right? The A1 was $379 and the P1S was $549. That's a that's a pretty big difference. You can almost buy the full 18 rolls for the discount when it comes to Bamboo Labs PLA. And so, yeah, I think I would opt that route if it's only PLA Pet G, which again is the best for most people. I, I still think that. Most people, guys, ABS ASA is scary. And I think you should really take your precautions. Don't breathe that stuff in. Make sure you have a fully enclosed area. It's not enough. That's seeping through these 3D printers. They do not have good enough filtration to get all of those fumes and the small micron uh, like particles out of the air. And that's why I just haven't ever 3D printed with them. Uh, Cause personally they kind of scare me. We don't know the long-term effect and we don't even know the long-term effects of PLA Pet G to be fair. Um, but with that being said guys, so what do you guys think? Uh, I just want to put together this quick video because this is one of the most asked questions. Guys, I would buy Bamboo Lab over uh, any 3D print manufacturer, personally. And uh, again, look at your needs. Are you needing PLA, PET G, and that's it. Bamboo Lab A1, A1 Mini. Do you potentially see yourself down the road so you want to kind of future-proof yourself? I still think the P1S is a great option. The P2S, unfortunately, is not available in the United States. For those of us in the United States, unfortunately, we can't get that. Then if you just want to go all out, I think I would recommend the H2S over the H2D, even though the single nozzle, it's technically going to be upgradable to the H2C, but it'll be more expensive and a lot harder to do. But if you're looking at the H2D, I probably would wait until December 5th, like the last day, and we'll see like, hey, do they offer some sort of like, I don't know, like what is the H2C in comparison? Not that they offer anything. We know there's an upgrade kit from the H2D to the H2C, but it, I, yeah, I, I guess I would wait and see what the H2C looks like and then make your decision from there. So with that being said, guys, if you have any questions, as always, put them down in the comments below. I will read them. I will answer them. And we'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe.